Motorola finally sets a date for their Moto X launch. Sony is reportedly working on building external smartphone cameras. And VLC returns to the iPhone after almost three years. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I won't be held responsible for my actions from here and until Monday. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the interesting product announcements as Motorola has now sent out press invitations for an event to happen on August 1st that has to do with the Moto X, which we thought was going to be announced at the Google event that's happening next week. So this is getting really interesting. And according to Larry Page, he is very proud of the phone. So coming from the guy that's proud of Google Glass, I'm expecting something very cool. Moving over to other announcements, well, you know that the T-Mobile Nokia Lumia 521 was never the most handsome or powerful smartphone out there, but it was the cheapest Windows phone in the market. I mean, that thing would cost 150 bucks, no contract, and now T-Mobile is dropping that price to just $100, no contract, and if you hit the links in the description, you can actually get an extra $20 off this phone. I mean, that's a perfect price. Now let's talk about the Nexus lineup as we've got some recent leaks of the Nexus 4 running Android 4.3. There are some significant improvements in performance everywhere, so that should be very interesting. But aside from that, we've also got some leak specifications of the Nexus 7. We get a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor, but it doesn't specify which processor it is. We get a five megapixel camera at the back that we didn't have before. And we also saw the leaks of what the device will look like. So stay tuned next week, hopefully. And you know, it's been almost three years since Apple kicked out VLC from their app store because it infringed some copyright laws. I wonder which ones. Uh, and as it turns out, well, they're finally approving the application again as of today, being compatible for the iPhone and the iPad. You can run pretty much everything that's compatible with VLC, if you know what I mean. And you can actually even use AirPlay aside from other features that come from the iPad if you have an Apple TV, for example. So uh, you, I. If I were you, you'd better start downloading before they pull it out again. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, if you didn't think that the Galaxy S4 Zoom and the Nokia Lumia 1020 were cool, well, Sony seems to be working on a new project with their Alpha unit, you know, their DSLR camera unit, in building lenses, or should I say cameras, that adapt to smartphones to enhance the current cameras of these smartphones to be better. Meaning, yes, this is pretty much a lens, but it brings a battery pack, it brings external storage options, and it pretty much turns your smartphone into a real camera, or at least that's the idea. You know, I feel that it's actually even cooler than having to carry the bulk of an extra camera if you don't really need the extra camera all the time, and especially if that accessory is pocketable. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would you like to use this feature? Would you consider that an external camera that attaches to your phone would be something that you'd want? Um, in my particular case, honestly, I feel that smartphone camera lenses, not necessarily separate cameras, but camera lenses should be something that should have happened a long time ago. Or adapters with a camera, fine, let's bring that also to the table. Again, it would all narrow down to the price. I mean, if they're not gonna charge you for the same price that they charge for lenses for DSLR cameras, then yes, this could take off, but leave us a comment down below, what would you prefer? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and health world machine, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.